BYU after Zarek Cooper went down. This is a quick handoff, and this is kind of how the first game started. This will be a nice run out to about. It's making the Tigers fit, and once again, it's a breakdown, and that's a big gain on first down. Another nice run that time. Not a great snap that time. Webb drops back. That's to rest. It's completed. West has some room on the outside, and West is tacked. Four and change into this one. Third and goal at the five. It is a handoff to West. The tackle, but the tackle, I think, brought in West to the end zone, and it is a touchdown for number 20 in white and red. What a start for the Gamecocks. As Karachik looks to kick this one home, and he does. And so just like that, Jacksonville State gets the three and out. Manageable here for Tennessee State. Green drops back, a lot of pressure. He is blitzed and he will go down. It was about four or five red and white jerseys. And that's Pat Jackson next to Webb. Webb fakes the pass. He's gonna take it. Quarterback scramble and somehow Webb, as Webb fakes the handoff, there's the pitch to Samuel and Samuel will get about seven for the Gamecocks. Webb drops back to pass. This one is completed to the sideline. Nice job that time by Webb. And for Baster, Alabama. This is third down. This is a handoff up the middle. Uh, well enough for the first down that time is Pat Jackson. And again, two back set. Webb drops back to pass. He's got a man, and it is caught right around the 10-yard line. They will mark him at exactly the 10 to 14 here as Webb will decide to throw it, and this one is caught. It is, see, they will mark him at the one yard line. That was, can't give that, that is Jackson in the backfield. They hand it off to him, he tried to leap, and they called the touchdown. It is a touchdown for Pat Jackson. That is his second touchdown of the season. And how about these Gamecocks? 220, as Karachik Tax on the extra point, and it is yards rushing along with a 27 yard reception. As this one is to Petway out of the backfield. Petway tries to find the sideline, not taking a break. We are back live. This is a handoff to Petway. He's been busy early. He's got the sideline. He's tiptoeing, but he did step out of bounds. Momentum. First time we've seen it today. Fake handoff to Rouse. And this one is thrown. Oh, not a good decision by Isaiah Green, and it is picked off by the Gamecocks. Oh, a poor decision that time by Green. And Tennessee State gives it right. Tennessee State back at Jacksonville State's 20. This one's handed off to McCauley, and he, I think, loses a yard there. Nice deep theme of the spring. 35, Isaiah Green drops back. Pressure from the corner. Green is gonna get crunched, and he is sacked by a swarm of Gamecocks. And another big time defensive stand for Jacksonville State, that was interesting. Tigers maybe didn't take a time out there, but this one is handed off to Samuel again, up the gut. He has enough for the first down. And Samuel again, he's been the workhorse today. Webb drops back. He has a man. This one is caught, and it is a touchdown. Oh, what a connection that time between Webb and who else but Dave Russell. Yeah, this the extra point, and he does so 21 to 6 another handoff to West again just bullies his way up the middle and that's going to be a quick first down See, Tigers fans are trying to erupt here but they won't be able to on that carry I'd say he's just Macaulay has swarmed that time that was Anthony Nesby as along with Umstead Sanders for the Tigers offense today. And they knew they had a tough test. And this is a screen pass to McCauley and he is just destroyed. Oh my goodness. Really nice coverage that time by Nicario Harper along with Stevante in 12. As Webb drops back to pass and he has a man open downfield. That is Quan Charleston, the redshirt junior out of Lake. As this will be a handoff to West, straight up the gut. And he just keeps bouncing off tacklers. That's an eight yard gain. It'll be the game. Fake the handoff to Petway, who came in motion. And they have a man wide open. It's West. 
He's at the 20, 10, five, all the way into the end zone. Blown coverage for Tennessee State. And who else but Uriah West? Yeah, that's just deja vu. Once again, drop coverage from the Tigers and another mistake has cost them dearly. This, this is a handoff to uh, Rouse again, and that's just going nowhere. In the ball game. Karachik, who's 10 of 11 on the season, as this one is good. So that will make it a 15 point game, which does a little bit there for Jacksonville State. Right. As well. Absolutely. And this is a play action play here for Tennessee State. Rollout for Green. Man. And there was contact a little bit early there, but really this week it has been a real struggle. As you surprised that Webb is throwing here? Has he got a pressure in his face? Has a man downfield. That is Petway. Oh my goodness. What a move that time by the redshirt junior and Zap. But this team is experienced. This team has been together. And the Tigers are still trying to figure it out with, with new players and new uh, you know, system. And it's just a, a tough a tough ask for the Tigers football team to try to compete like this. And that is another touchdown here for Jacksonville State. That time to Quan Charleston. So Quan Charleston gets into the mix. That is his second touchdown of the season going back from the fall and the spring. For Webb that time, I mean, he was rolling to his right, threw a strike in the corner of the end zone and hit him right in between the numbers. And that is, was at zero on the play clock. So I, I still don't right. understand what that play is about. As Green gets crunched, it is another sack, but you do have another penalties down as Green takes the snap here and he's gonna get sacked. That is Coleman into the mix for Jacksonville State, and he's back with vengeance. <laughs> oh yeah, now he's having fun. Now he's getting the stat sheet <laughs> lit up. I mean, because the Tigers have no and they came in with a lot of confidence as this one's punted away. So Tennessee State will have one last chance on offense. As this is a really good punt, the best one of the day, and it's down at the one yard line. That's kind of how it's gone. <laughs> yep. The last snap of the day, and that is it. Final whistles blow and it is a 38 to 16 win for Jacksonville State really impressive listen they came in those 20 point favorites and they did a really nice job there's a reason this team's number 10 in the country yes